Labour on the march in Wakefield, and last summer the Liberal Democrats down in Devon showed Boris the door. But this week it's Rishi Sunak's time to lead the Conservatives into their first by-elections with him as leader. The pressure is on not just for the Prime Minister though. For Labour, there is a heavy weight of expectation. If you don't pick up at least one seat, what does it say about you and your chances of winning at a general election? Look, we, we obviously want to make progress, of course we do, uh, but I think the idea that these are easy seats is wrong. I mean, Uxbridge was a seat we didn't even take in 1997, and, and Selby is a 20,000 Tory majority. So I've got my feet on the ground, I've got really good teams out there with a very good message, working very, very hard, but I know that we've got to earn every vote. There is a different story to each of these three by-elections. The demographics differ, the local issues differ, there's even a mix of who is the biggest threat to the Conservatives, Labour or Liberal Democrat. Collectively though, these three seats have the ability to paint a picture of just what we could expect at next year's general election. A picture of a political landscape that, according to pretty much every single recent opinion poll, could be vastly different to right now. Heading into such a testing week, the Defence Secretary Ben Wallace hasn't helped. One of the most popular MPs in the party, announcing he's standing down from the Cabinet at the next reshuffle and down from Parliament at the next election. A tough week ahead got tougher. It is very hard for governments to win by elections uh, when we've been uh, in power. This is more than midterms now. We've been uh, in office one way or another, whether in a minority government, in coalition for about 13 years. So it's understandable if we're not necessarily winning by elections. Obviously, there's everything to play for. I've been out campaigning uh, in seats like Selby. And what we're doing is reminding people about what our uh, objectives are. There's the prime minister's five priorities. We've got a plan. We've got something to deliver and that's what we hope people will be focusing on. In Boris Johnson's old seat, there's still a smattering of conviction and the politics of exhaustion. We need change around the country. I know the by-election is just going to show you a sort of small mirror of what's happening, but we've had enough. Are you ready for it? Are you bored of politics now? No, I'm not bored of politics. No, I'm definitely ready for it. Oh, OK. Who are you voting? Which way are you going? A Conservative. From Labour? Are you liking what you're hearing from them, or is it just that you're bored of the Conservatives? It's a protest vote. It's a protest vote? Yeah. On Thursday, three constituencies go to the polls, but the political momentum for an entire nation could be decided. A quick correction, it is, of course, the seat of Somerton and Froome, not Somerset and Froome. Well, this... Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.